Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons, and on today's lesson we're going to talk about the song Rum and Coca-Cola. I think it was Maury Amsterdam who wrote this song uh, back in the 50s or 60s probably, and it's fairly, fairly well known. Uh, interesting part about this song is that it uses a uh, particular kind of a chord called the 1-6 chord, meaning that in this key of C, you have C, E, G, and you've heard us talk about this. C, E, G is the one chord, but they add the note A, which in the key of C is the sixth note. Uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, number six. So, in this particular chord, if you're going to improv, using the sixth note of the scale, which is A, is, is pretty nice because that is also part of the melody. So when you improv, you kind of want to use that melody a lot, or that note, because it fits into the, the general scheme of the melody. So, uh, melodically, there's not a whole lot of uh, chords going on. You've got your C chord and you've got your G chord, but pretty much. C, E, G, G, B, D, that's about it. The G chord is a is a one as a five seven, which is a G B D F. They use a lot of Fs in here, so anything in the key of C really works on this. Um, so chord tones in C C E G B uh, G B D for the five chord, and then the scale. You know, you use a lot of the scale. You can do some harmonization and other things. We use uh, repetition, um, things like this. Um, let's see. Uh, a flat to A. That sounds really good. Repeat the A a lot. We'll use this during the, the improvisational time and you'll hear it, but I wanted to address that with you. So here's the melody and we'll do a little improvisation. because it just sounds good to repeat that. I also did some scale-like patterns. Instead of going... I did this. Uh, let's see. I did a little pattern with the scale. I did just play the scale up and down. I went C, B, C, B, A, B, G, F, G, F, B. And it's kind of a triplet scale. like that really add interest. I just did the scale, but because I did it in a kind of a, a different pattern, it's not really recognizable. So anyway, you have things like uh, chord tone outline, you can use the scale, you can use the embellishments, you can use uh, double stops on chord tones like C, E, or E, G, E, F, C, E, G, B, use any of those scale tones in any part of the song because the, the uh, chords are so basic. 
So you can really use a lot of that repetition stuff and it'll sound great. Also, don't forget to quote the melody because people like to hear the melody also. Anyway, I think it's a great song to add to your repertoire. I think a lot of people would enjoy hearing it. People always comment about it when I play it. So, uh, again, lots of things to do on this one. And uh, there's a, a key modulation, so uh, there's a little bit of a lift to the song. It adds, it adds a lot when you do that, and it sounds really good at the end. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And also look at panland.name.com, which is a, a social network for pan players. Lots of videos, uh, uh, downloadable music pictures, and commentary from people all over the world. And also, if you have any music needs, sheet music needs, please go to tropicalshores.net. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.